One, two, three. Did you clap? I did clap. I didn't hear it again. Excellent. That's. The, I think we're nailing the claps. We must be. Yeah, we have this down. Finally. It took a few weeks. but If nothing else, our claps are perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This means we're going to win. This, that's, that's the sign. I think that's what it means. Yeah, we're that's, in sync. That's the sign. <laughs> All right. Synchronize the claps, you must win games. That's. I mean, I've, I've heard that at Old Adage. Well, that's that's like... all over the place. It's like the oldest, <laughs> oldest trick in the book. Oh, so true, man. So true. What's going on, guys? Jolt here from the Token Minorities, and I am back with Goldoa Dragon for week four of the TBL. Uh, go ahead and say hello, Goldoa. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another, what's actually probably going to be our most fun battle so far this season, in my opinion. Um, if you guys missed the team builder, definitely go check that out because the sets we're bringing this week don't make a lot of sense uh, and you will not expect them if you haven't seen that team builder. So I definitely encourage you to go check that team builder out. Watch how we got to the point we're at now uh, and certainly enjoy some of the zaniness that's about to happen in this battle. I think it's going to be fun. I totally agree. I totally agree. But make sure to go check out our opponents as well. They'll be linked down in the description below. We are facing off against the team of Randy HLD Productions from the GBA and Curse Shaka, who I'm not personally familiar with. But uh, yeah, definitely make sure to go check him out as well. I know I will be after this game too. So uh, yes, yeah, so we have a pretty interesting matchup this week and it'll be interesting to see what happens in the game we have some cool mods like Oldo was saying and really really hoping that it's going to be able to to work out here so uh i don't really know if there's anything else we want to say want to go ahead and try to get into the game um i got nothing else right now i think i'm just excited to get this one started i wish i wish i was clicking the buttons but unfortunately <laughs> I am depending on you to not. I, I'm going to try. Time. I'm going to really try not to screw us over on time management, but it's so hard, man. It's so hard. Oh, my God. It's real tight, um, especially when we're trying to talk over things and like actually get the yeah. opinions of both of us and the, the Discord lag that always comes with it. So uh, fingers crossed. Though. Yep. Did we get in? I might have missed that. Yeah, we're in now. Okay. Okay. So now we are into the game, and let's see what our opponents brought. We have the... Oh, they did bring the Haunter. Oh, no. <laughs> they did bring the Haunter. They actually brought the Haunter. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no Rotom, though. Yikes. All right, so they brought the Haunter. This is a I weird knew team. it, dude. I was so ready. No Giglet, though. Uniclus, Excadrill, Persian, and Togekiss. Interesting. Yeah, that was unexpected. Uh, what I really like about this, though, is look at their banded... Their banded copper switch-ins. They, uh... Youch. I see a lot of pain with no Rotom over there. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> they didn't bring the Rotom, so, like, they have literally nothing to switch into a Heavy Slam, really. I kind of want to just lead with uh, it, expecting them to try to lead with... I don't know if we Bombi. lead it. I mean, they're probably... They might lead her Bombi. We have 25 seconds to pick a lead. I, uh... Yeah, that's fair. I'm fine with I'm fine with the lead. I will trust you on this one. I think it's I mean, yeah, what is there switch into a heavy slam? And they might expect They either just go right? Excadrill, which takes 70%, or they something dies. Yeah. So like, I mean, let's look at their knockdown yeah, switches. Especially for as leading well. it. Why They're would only... you lead banded <laughs> copper? Dude, all they all they have oh, for no, one, is one kiss. Things are a little chipped. That knockdown could do so much work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we do have to keep Noctowl kind of healthy-ish for the Haunter, which is looking kind of annoying. I'm so for us. excited, dude. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. Good luck to these guys. Again, make sure you go check them out. Yeah, I mean, their they're only rocker is Drill. Yeah. Yep, only rocker is Drill. Yeah, did drill. we say their name? I might have missed that if we did. I, I think I said earlier, yeah, Randy and Curse Jaka. They sent out question marks, which is Haunter. I mean, that's okay. Houston Frokets. Frokets? Frokets. Frokets, yeah. So, I, I mean, us. worst case scenario, this thing willows us. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, it's so worth it, dude. We can kill this. And thing we can also power facade one. stuff. Like we just <laughs> facade everything. So let, let's just, yeah, just heavy slam stuff. Yeah, I'm in. I we kill we... them. We if they burn us, we still kill them. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, getting rid of this thing would be great. Here's the willow. Okay, so now we facade spam later. I think this is a violate for some reason. Even if they're max HP, uh, we should. I mean, a violate might live. If they're like max HP of Violate. 
Oh, it's a sad. That'd be a really weird Haunter set. This could be Debond. It could be Debond. I would advise switching out at this point. Yep, me since too. we still have the facade. Um, what do you think? Hard Terrakion to outspeed it? They don't double Willow here. We could also go. Well, it could be Sludge Wave. I think isn't Terrakion. Um, I don't think we have a play otherwise. We don't really want to go Not Tal, do we? Well, what do they do to the Noctowl? Like, realistically. We have such high special defense naturally, and... Okay, let's try We it. can just, like, Hypnosis or Nasty Plot. I don't think I'd want to set up... Or Rain Band. Rather... Burn does not matter. We can at least I mean, it can also just be a pivot, right? Noctowl yeah. pivoting out. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball's what they go for. Okay, so... I mean, scouting for that Debon right now. Yeah. Which I assume is about to come. Nope, they would go for the, the Shadow Ball. Shadow so... Ball. Interesting. So, I mean, does that mean they probably don't have Debon? Do we just Hurricane here? Hit that switch, dude. <laughs> do we do we Hurricane or do we Hypnosis here? I mean, if we miss, then we activate our Blunder yeah. policy way too early. Yeah, we but... double. I mean, a part of me is like, just Rain Dance. Because, like, even if it's... I mean, what does too early to set up mean? Because we can always just switch out and do it again later. There's no rocks or Actually, Rain Dance, no yeah, rain dance is nice for us, too. And they might just go Drill, so... And they won't know that it's for Knock Hell. They yeah. may... They may very well believe that we have right, uh, Damp Rock, and this is for Ludi. True. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Focus Sash Haunter, interesting. Because, like, at worst, they Sludge Wave, and we're taking, like, probably nothing. <laughs> it's not even boosted, so nothing. All right, so after this, what's going to be our play, right? So they let's assume they switch out, and they do. So we set up a Rain Dance. If they go Drill, okay, they went Kiss. That's okay, I think. So we got the rain up. We have four turns of rain left. We definitely can't go Ludi here. No, Ludi's not the play, obviously. We have four turns of rain. Um, I mean, we could plot, but they're probably going to T-Wave. Yeah. I mean, we have I mean, rain copper. up, so like, it can't do anything to cover. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, it can get Flamethrower, but we have to set the rain up, so yeah. Yeah. We do have to remember they have her bombie though, and, and toppers are our best response. <laughs> Heavy to slam bombie. still kills an offensive toge. Yeah, <laughs> even burned. I mean, if they're max HP but not defensive toge, facade's <clears throat> doing seventy to eighty percent, and Heavy Slam has a chance to Oko from full. I'm thinking we might want to pull a double double through Copper here, expecting them to switch. We'll see what they go for though. And I mean, their only facade resist is the same as Drill. All right, so now I'm thinking that Can't they wave us if you already burned us. Now, do we heavy slam so here? Gonna, they might try to air slash flinch us to death. It'll take them a very long time. Should we should we heavy slam here? I think. I mean. I mean, heavy slam person. is no drawback, and facade is also no drawback. I really want to double into Ludi expecting Persian. That's what I want to do. Because then we get a knockoff. Persian takes fur coat. Persian, if it's max HP and not defensive, takes is a two is two KO'd by facade. Is it? But I'm fine with you going to Ludi here. It's a real... That's a real ballsy play. I'm, I'm, but feeling, I'm, I'm feeling ballsy. I'm that's what it says. It. Max I'm, HP for coat per per takes 56 to 80... 67%. No one stays in here. That'd be wild. Look, this team doesn't want you to play passively. <laughs> <That's for laughs> true. Sure. True. As long as we keep Noctowl safe, that's all that matters. <laughs> the team that we built this week is not about... Dude, we set up the rain. And yeah, then we, I know. We baited out the <laughs> there it is. Wave, There's a switch. Scouted moves. Persian. Go and now we're just gonna go into Ludi. And they're gonna think. Oh, it's okay, perfect. they set up the range for Ludi. It's gonna be damp rock. Yo, drill. It's perfect. Mold breaker. <laughs> Mold breaker. Yo. Predicted. And they're gonna go kiss now. So I mean, do we want to leech? We could probably want to just scald and rain. We can scald, scald rain. but like, wouldn't it be better to get a toxic off on kiss coming in? Um, they might also sack on. I mean, I think objectively, I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock. you're not wrong, I'm but I'm fine with knock. Getting rid of an item on any because uh, the skull yeah. doesn't actually guarantee KO in the rain because we have no no investment in. Yeah, they have to expect us to be offensive though. First of all, yeah, the sack hunter. So, yep, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, because we've set up the rain for it. Yep. 
Yep, so there goes Hunter. The knock is a, is a weird <laughs> reveal, I think. <laughs> I don't care, it's fine. Is this our first lead of the season? Uh, it might be. We haven't <laughs> had the best starts, <laughs> so... <laughs> and that's that's pretty good. Hunter was actually kind of a threat, so I'm glad to get that gone. <laughs> Takes a little pressure off of, of Noctel. <laughs> This is pretty nice, too. We still haven't revealed our. I don't know what they're going to think about us having knockoff. I think they, they might think we're Sword Dance. Not necessarily. Knockoff's just a good utility. Yeah, they think we're, they probably think we're Swift them. That's true. I mean, we could be Sword Dance against their team. There's no reason we couldn't be. So, all right, this thing is in. Do we want to go? They probably would. They T wave here again. They could T wave. What do we really lose by going? They back could T wave. To copper they still can't do anything to Copper, and now they've. I'm just worried about Rebombi later. What? I'm worried about Rebombi. They've it's... shown that Excadrill, they're they're willing to go Excadrill because they know it's their only option. Facade, if it's an offensive Excadrill, still two shots it. <laughs> With the burn. I guess we have other stuff for Rebombi too though. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> I mean, I see what you're saying about keeping it healthy, but also this is sort of what it's for, right? Is breaking the team. Yeah. So that's true. I don't know. Rabombi's a threat for sure, and they're clearly keeping it in the back, so it's probably not like a sticky web sash set. It's that's like 10, 15 percent. Okay, so now we get a bandit facade off on something. <laughs> Another rain. They might have flamethrower yep. too, but I mean, two shots the Excadrill offensive. All right, facade it is. Doesn't kill. I mean, maybe it does. I don't know what their set is. Oh, they're going for it. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Look at that damage, though. Yeah, no, I, it's crazy. Facade's stupid. <laughs> like, getting this thing weakened is so good, though. Getting this thing uh, weakened is amazing. I will leave it up to you if you want to keep going for it uh, or I'm if you want to. I'm, I'm totally going for it. You know, okay, no, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Dang I just we're if we get flinched, then we just kind of die. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot, man. We could maybe if take. You think one we have more. other Rebombi answers? I mean, we're yeah. I mean, we don't have anything to switch into it. We have to come in on a safe switch, so. Yeah, the only other option is going hard Taraki on here. I don't like it. I don't. I think I'm just gonna stay in, try to live. Terrakion's our only other check to Rabombi, yeah. and only if we can get a rock polish off. Live. Although, yeah, no, we can't. We can't Look, rock polish in front of this thing because it's got the. They crit us. And we flinched. They crit us. <laughs> and we flinched. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we flinched. Toga kiss. Brutal, man. So brutal. All right, so we have a few options here. Um, we should probably outspeed this with guard if we want to take that route because they really don't have anything for that now speed death and guard? we have some speed on guard yeah we did put some speed investment guard i guess uh, that they could be really fast they, they seem like they're offensive um i mean do we go track then it's really the only other play we have nothing switches out, i mean so. then you have to land your stone edge <laughs> uh we'll hit it they don't have always in, comes so. in on the track I mean, so they go Rena Bliss, and then we can go into other mods and do stuff too. Like, I'm not uh, really too scared of Rena Bliss. Yeah. Well. All right. Just hit this. Just hit this. I will. I got this. Don't worry. Just please, please <clears throat> land this. <laughs> don't worry. They're gonna go, if, if they're not switching out, they're going for a T wave, hundred percent. Of course. Um. And if they T wave this thing, we got problems. <laughs> The only other option would have been to go for a rock polish there, so that even if they thunder waved, we would still outspeed, so that we couldn't get flinched. I mean, I guess, but and I, then we would if they didn't thunder wave. I'd rather just get the damage on this. Do something turn, else, though, then we could. Yeah, I mean, a rock polish should be big damage on something. If they go, oh man, a part of me is like, just we should set up rocks because then we break the sash and the Rabombi and Togus dies in reentry. If they go reunite, which I don't know what their removal is, because like literally everything on their team gets removal, but. If they... Man, they're taking their time with oh, this one. Oh, Shardy, get out of here. <laughs> you ain't living that. Goodbye, Togekiss. 
Oh, Chardy? Yeah. There's such a delay right now, it's crazy. But I'm doing my best. Alright. Yeah, like, I, I agree, though. Rocks would be really good. Even if they go Reuni here, it's almost tempting to just set him up in his face. But I think I'd rather go probably hard Gardevoir. Or I'm trying to think what else we do to Reuniclus. Hard Guard's a pretty decent play, I think. Um... Yeah, worse they get one Calm Mind up with the Reuniclus, I guess, if we go Gardevoir. That would be pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> well, we can Calm Mind in front of it, too, though, but uh -oh. yeah. And we could also I mean, yeah, we can hard... keep up with the Calm Minds, but we would never get the chance to really um, take advantage. Yeah, I mean, an option would be hard not to <laughs> on Reuni. Oh, they would go Drill. I mean, there's, not a, there's a non-zero chance that we have Xizzer, right? Because oh, they have a Reuniclus, and that pretty much walls the normal set, so... Bluffing Scarf Drill? Or are they They have to drill? respect that. So we got a drill. I mean, why wouldn't we just go Ludi? I mean, the well might be actually Scarf Drill. We, we just go Ludi then. I see no reason not to make that play. Or we can go into Girder, but I think I'd rather I mean, go If there's Scarf, yeah, we always go Ludi Colo. Interesting. That's not the play I expected. They're probably going to Iron Head because of not, not possible Mock Tile switch in. So Ludi Colo is 100% the play. I mean, I would imagine, well, if they're SD, then we still check it with stuff, so. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. That did like five. It froze and I didn't see what the move was. Was it Ironhead? It was Ironhead, yeah. So, I mean, at this point, okay. we can, uh... do we knock expecting Reuniclus? Yeah, probably. They don't have a Scald Resist right now. <laughs> no, but like, but, Knock is more valuable, I think. But Knock is still free. But we could Toxic expecting them to yeah, try knock to go is still into Rebombi potentially on the knockoff to set up. And Toxic will help protect us against that. I mean... So it can't set... I mean, they, they, they don't kill us in one hit because we're bulky if they don't set up. So we can always Toxic the second turn. But that would let this thing get really weakened for drill. That's true. I kind of like. I think toxic covers more, but then we can't hypnosis on. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna knock off. I'm gonna knock off because I want to be able to click hypnosis with knock towel against Reuniclus. And this is probably <laughs> man. That is the sentence no competitive Pokemon player has literally ever said. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. What's this item here? What do we got? Got rid of a Focus Sash. So interesting. So we know it's a Sash or Bombie. So I mean, they could quiver, quiver here. We could certainly Toxic if we're assuming they're going to quiver. I think they do quiver here. Um, Wait, Shield Dust. That's yeah. That's uh, stat reductions. So. I think that's probably the play. It's all secondary effects of moves. Yeah, I think Toxic is the play because we have Girder still uh, to help out against Drill. I mean, I think Toxic is the only option, right? Yep. Please don't sub. Yeah. There's the Quiver. <laughs> that would be really bold, man. Straight Quiver? All right. Okay, we hit it. Uh, so that's going to put this thing on a timer, and now we just kind of have to play around it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I mean... Until it slowly dies and hope it doesn't have a roost. So what do you think? They go for probably Bug Buzz With here. With Copper Gone, I feel like... Yeah, it's either Bug Buzz or another Quiver right here. So, I mean, we can um, go into Girder here. Just kill a turn. Because Gerder's health isn't really that important right I now. mean, sure. They're not going to Moonblast, I don't think. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and plus, we, we ev to live a plus one Moonblast. Yeah. So as long as they... Well, not after a Bug Buzz. Gerder's the least um, useful member of the team right now, though, so I'm, I'm okay with that play. Well, what are gonna, you going to go into on this thing afterwards? Like, how are we I mean, going to stop it? It's it's just going to be burning time. Oh, they actually went for it. Because wow. after this, 
they can just spam Moonblast. There's no reason for them not to just spam Moonblast. So let's get chip damage off here with Mach Punch, which we don't have. Because <laughs> you just Mach Punch, I guess? Remember yeah. when we wanted Mach Punch? I mean, we you're going to do it. like literally nothing. Oh, we don't have Mach Punch. <laughs> right. right. It's funny. I mean, Noctowl could probably take a plus one hit. We could set up on it. Right? No. <laughs> Gardevoir can take a plus one Moonblast, so... Oh, no! Are you kidding me? I hate this game. I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> I think it was my internet that cut out, too, because my showdown cut out. And they go for a quiver as we go for a toxic. Yes. Good. Okay. We're inside. We go. We go. Uh, yes. Girder. All right, guys, we are finally back. Uh, this this took a little bit to recreate. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry we're going to have to play on Showdown now, but that's uh, that's kind of how we're going to have to deal with this. So we got a Rabombi at plus one in front of us, and this thing is pretty much just fodder at this point anyway, so we can just sack this off, I guess. It doesn't really matter what we go for. I guess I'll just Drain Punch in case they want to give us, or I guess I'll P-Jab just to make sure they can't, they can't uh, try to heal up on us or whatever. But yeah, so we're going to lose Girder here, but this thing's getting weakened down pretty oh, fast. Oh, crit. Oh, the crit wow mattered. So they're going to get two turns here. So, I mean, an option we have, we can just go guard, and we can we can take any one hit and probably knock it out here. And yeah, like, no, the calc says Gardevoir won't die to a Moonblast at plus one. Yeah. Uh, if him, they were sashed, and we know they don't have it anymore. So at worst, they're modest, and it does 63% max. So, like, Mystical uh, Fire is really safe. I don't see a reason. Mystical Fire mins else. out at 52% to uh, plus one, not defensively invested. Bombi, so it would kill. Yeah. So I, I agree. I think that's the best play. And and uh, Moonblast can't lower our special attack because Shield Dust. Mystical Fire is base 150. Moonblast is base a little bit lower here. Yeah. So yeah, we're not going to get the special attack oh, drop. 3%. Right? No, we can't because we have. But it should. I think it should knock it out, though. Mystical Fire should knock it out. And if not, then the Toxic will. Yeah. And if they go anything else, it's not going to appreciate a Mystical Fire. Right. Uh, like, Reuniclus is worst case scenario, but we have moves for that. Because at that point, we, if they go Reuniclus, we can either taunt and set up Calm Minds. Um, or, since I don't think this thing can fully sweep at this moment in time, uh, we could taunt and then go, like, Noctowl or something. You know what's looking really good right now for late game? Noctowl. <laughs> So Mystical Fire is going to take out the Rubombi. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Reuni Card comes in. Build. So, I mean, Drill probably Reuni. comes in here, but there's a chance they go Reuni. Do we just taunt that? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to debate, like, what else we would do on some level. Because um, if they're going Reuni, clicks, they're probably not going to click Shadow Ball. They're either going to go Thunder, Psychic, or a non-attacking move. Whether it's Trick Room or Calm Mind or whatever. I could see Trick Room them. would surprise me with what they have left. I could see them going for Shadow Ball, because, like, what do we switch into Reuniclus? Noctowl. What's Noctowl going to do to Reuniclus? I mean, it's not what Noctowl does to Reuniclus. It's the fact that Reuniclus can't touch Noctowl if it doesn't have Psy Shock or Thunder. That's true. But it probably has Psy Shock, though. It can just click it. Why would you run Psy Shock against us? Because not for Noctowl? <laughs> I mean, it's the nice rest of our to team have, is okay, way better drill anyway. Defensively. So, I mean, like, Ludi is really free if we want to just do that now. They might be doubling here, but... Do you think they double into Reuni? I think they do. 
That's a bold try to like read on that. I feel like Ludi is pretty safe anyway. If they go Reuni, what's our play though, right? So if they double into Reuniclus, I'm trying to think if we have a mid ground play here. If they go, if they go Reuniclus as a double, and we go into Ludi, they get a free calm mind, and we don't really do anything to them. So I'm wondering if we want to go. Do we risk this thing? Probably this thing not. dies to we everything. Can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't risk guard. I don't really want to risk not towel, but I feel like X's are so likely here too. Yeah, X's are. I feel like is the move that they're gonna that they're most likely to click because it covers the guard staying in and it also covers the Ludi switch in. We live an Iron Head with the knock towel, and then we are pretty sure they're scarfed. And if they like, then we can try to make a read on if they're gonna go for another one, and we can go Ludi at that point, or if they go. Reuniclus, then we just hypnosis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would hypnosis at that point. I but mean, like, they don't really have to make that read, though. They can just go into Reuni on Ludi. I'm gonna go Ludi. Yeah. Okay. So now they're okay. locked into Iron Head. So now we could knock off on the Reuniclus switch in to get rid of a potential Life Orb, or we can double into Noctowl here. <laughs> oh my god, the Noctowl's opportunity is so close, but the problem is this Exedrill could just stay in on the predict, because we've been making a lot of switching reads. We have. Uh, but I don't, th I don't think they can risk staying in. I don't think they can either, because how do they beat Gardevoir? Like, they need this. And Tarak. I really like the Noctowl play, bro. I, can't, I, really, I want to do it so bad. Oh my god. Look, I, I you're really the one you're the one piloting, and I said this team has to be played aggressively, so right. do you feel like that would be the aggressive play you need yes! to make? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> 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 Alright, so Hypnosis, yeah? <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time? It's time. Come on. I mean, Psyshock two hit KOs if they with no investment from them. We hit it! <laughs> oh my god, you landed it! <laughs> what a hero! <laughs> the nasty plot. <laughs> Noctowl's inside. Let's go! What a hero! <laughs> Come on, Noctowl! Come on! The only way they stop this right now is if they go hard drill right now. Which is a really risky thing to do, given that Hurricane Oko's it. Let's go, Noctowl. <laughs> Let's go. Because I think once we get one plot up, even though it doesn't necessarily Oko this Reuniclus with the Hurricane, I think we should just start spamming it, hoping for the miss to get the plus but two like, speed to outspeed the drill. Right, we outspeed the Scarf Drill, where you need to do that, right? At plus two? Yeah, 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 mm. plus two. Not right now. We're not at plus two yet, because we landed in the <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Why would this have been the hypest battle to play online? <laughs> like on the actual game, because it's just, uh, I'm sad that the knock towel doesn't look shiny right now. Like, yeah. this is... There's the plot. All right, there's the plot. The they stay in, they stay asleep. Hurricane. They might live it, but you could confuse them. <laughs> it's a very good chance they do live it. Is this the knock towel sweep we've all dreamt of? Dude, this is, is the this moment it? that it's <laughs> is this the one? Oh my god. I don't want to get ahead of myself right now. Because this Reuniclus could easily wake up. Like, go for some crazy, like, trick room or something stupid. You know, like, there's... It's not over yet. It's definitely not over. But, this is nice. On some level, we kind of... Like, our, our ideal situation right now is that we go for this hurricane, land it, the, not, the Reuniclus stays asleep. Yes, that's ideal. But we confuse them. <laughs> and then we miss the next one as it wakes up. Or as it would wake. Yeah, as it wakes up, hits itself in confusion, kills itself, but we're at plus two speed. That's ideal. That would be ideal. It's not out of the question. There's, there's a lot of ways that that happens. I don't know what the sleep chances are. I don't know if it's like 33% per, per each of, you I, know, what... what like... I'm not sure on the percentages either. Um... Because you can't wake up on turn one, nice. but then on turn two you could wake up, mm -hmm. or on turn three you could wake up, and if you don't, you're guaranteed to wake up the last turn. 
Bro, if this works, oh my gosh. <laughs> if this works, <laughs> you're a legend if this works, I'm telling you. This set is going to go down in history. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take credit for the ballsy play, but this set is all you, man. This set is all you. Even Ooh. if it doesn't work, I mean, the fact that there's a position where it could work. <laughs> <laughs> we we navigated this battle for this exact position. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because like all we need to do is miss a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. The move is like made for this. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. All right, blunder policy. And the full sleep. sleep. And the full sleep. Okay, okay. So they can live this. And they could do some crazy trick room thing. Hopefully they don't. So, fingers crossed. If we crit, pretty much over. It might, in fact, be over if we crit this. Unless they're Scarf Persian, which we didn't EV to outspeed because that's net. That's just... That's too much. It just oh! died. It just, it just died. died. <laughs> they're it offensive. Just, they're it's offensive, just gone. Dude. Knocked out. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> Knocked out! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we want to rain dance here? No. What? No, hurricane. I'm thinking like, we want to hit him, right? If we hit the rest, we win. Yeah, if we hit the rest, we win. And we actually live one iron head. So maybe I should have rain danced. I, I, okay, I died. <laughs> oh, they died. <laughs> it's fine. They died. Yeah, I think rain dance was a better play there, but that's all right. Knocked out. King. King knocked out. Queen knocked out. It's actually a female. My apologies. Knocked out. Queen knocked out. <laughs> clock tower. Bring us home. <laughs> clock tower, bring us home. You got this. This is it. Everyone wants to meet right this there. This is it. The clock tower. Right with you. Everyone wants to be with you. This is the moment dreams are oh made up. Oh my god. It's Sash 2? No. Confusion, confusion. Oh, oh that did, that did the foul play did literally did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's fine, knocked out. You just gotta hit, you know, yep. one, you gotta no, hit one more. One more. Come on, buddy. There it is! There it is! The sweep! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if we lose every game the rest of the season. This happened. <laughs> this just happened. Oh my gosh. GG, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so happy right now. Oh my god, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Why did we use the Noctile thumbnail last week? We should have saved it for this week. <laughs> oh my, I can't believe it. It might be another one, guys. If you see another Noctile thumbnail, that's that's why, man. Oh my gosh. Jesus, that's crazy. I So I, okay, here's the thing. I keep presenting these sets to Jolt, like, every week about Noctile and, like, how I think it could totally work. And I think Jolt's right that I'm really wrong most of the time. But I'm really glad we built a team. <laughs> Around, around this Noctowl. set of Noctowl. Like, we we built a support team for Noctowl to do exactly what it just did. We specifically chose Noctowl over Hydreigon in this matchup. Yeah. Just, just throwing and that I out think, there. <laughs> I don't think Hydreigon would have had the opportunity to do that. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. I mean, they clearly were really scared of Hydreigon, though. They brought three Dark Resists on their team. They brought three Dark... All the Dark Resists, I think. Yeah, I think Unless it's every Darkness they have. Unless they have a fighting type, I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, They could have brought Hitmon top. Okay, which that's not a Pokemon, so... they <laughs> <laughs> Like, they brought their only three real Dark Resist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they did not bring their Noctowl switch in. No, which they... Was... Gigalith. I mean, I don't even one. know, because we would have been able to chip down Gigalith. We pressured that team so that's, hard. Yeah, that was just how, how our team was made, really. It was to pressure Gigalith, yeah. so... Um, I think the only things that would have really stopped this Noctile from doing what it did would have been like Rotom Wash, um, that was like super specially defensive, being able to take a plus two Hurricane and returning with something, but I don't think it kills us with anything. I, I don't have, think it does either, no, it'd it have to be Invested or like Life Orb or something to kill us, so. Yeah. Yeah, like Noctile is a really underrated threat man it's like kind of fat it's fat and it's strong. yeah no it's got that special defense stat of what base i mean it's only base 96 apparently but base I mean, 100 hp feels, base 90 special yeah defense. it feels like a lot it takes hits yeah. um but and when it hits hypnosis and you get three turns sleep that really helps a lot too just saying that i don't <laughs> think this <laughs> this could have gone more perfectly <laughs> queen knocked out man. oh queen my god so y'all if you ever want to take a fun low tier mon and make it work Noctowl is a great candidate. Um, with that, if I'm not mistaken, I 
think Noctowl became our kill leader. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> uh, it has four kills in the last two weeks. Uh, so week one, Copper got two, and then it got one more this week, and I think there's the only three, and I think Noctowl has four, and I think that's the most. So clearly, Noctowl is the MVP of the team. That's, I mean... I mean, this is... No question this is asked. A, <laughs> this is a representative game. <laughs> anyway, we will continue to gush about Noctowl for the rest of time, but y'all don't have to listen to it, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this half as much as Jolt and I enjoyed playing it. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, after all the zaniness that happened with like the disconnect and everything, it could not have ended on a higher note. <laughs> Absolutely. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and we will see you all back here with week five. It's only a seven week season, mind you. So we are just past the halfway point. Um, so just bear that in mind. This is going to be a pretty short season. We aren't focused on playoffs but we're not out of it yet and noctowl wants to carry us there so we're gonna ride its back uh fly all the way to playoffs so um keep an eye out for for next week's upload but uh yeah that's all i have to say yeah i think you covered it all uh that was a pretty awesome game for sure but i hope you guys did enjoy and we will see you all next week i'm not sure who we're playing quite yet but i'm sure it'll be another good game and uh yeah we'll see you guys then have a good one guys later take care everybody